this weather is exactly why there's been such a sense of urgency when it comes to trying to get the boys and their coach out. It's a sheer drop back down in here, and you really get a sense of appreciation of just how elaborate and challenging these cave systems are. When we were talking to one of the divers, he was saying that the narrowest part they have to go through in this rescue mission is about 80 centimeters, so say two and a half feet wide. That's approximately the size of this opening. And they have to try to navigate that while it's underwater. And it's not just the issue of having to move through tight spaces. Even the wide ones can pose their own sets of challenges. I mean, as you can see here clearly, the rock surface is incredibly uneven and in some instances quite sharp. Divers and experts that CNN and others have been talking to have all pretty much unanimously been saying that this is one of the most difficult rescue missions that any of them have been a part of. It gets kind of intense when you get back here. It's really narrow. This is stagnant water. It's not moving through. And it probably is nowhere near as murky as what it is that the divers and the boys are going to have to go through. But if we dunk into the water with a light and try to replicate the visibility or lack thereof, we were told it was about a foot. Thai officials have said that the boys managed to access clean water by drinking what was dripping down the sides of the cave. Now they, of course, were in complete and total darkness, not knowing when or if they were even going to come out alive. And that's a terrifying ordeal for an adult to even have to go through, never mind a child. And the big challenge right now is not going to just be physically recovering from this ordeal, but psychologically as well. Arwa Damon, CNN, Chiang Rai, Thailand.